probably live right now. And uh, it says live. If we are, that is good. Yo, 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 what is up? Discussions with dads. We are pumped and we are live, I believe. Um, yes, we are. Okay. I, I see us now. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. So if uh, you guys can see us and hear us loud and clear, uh, please say what's up in the comments uh, so that we know that we are good to go in terms of volume and everything else. Uh, technology is not always friendly to us. So uh, let us know what's up in the comments. Say what's up in the comments if you are can hear us loud and clear. You can see us okay. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know where you're listening in from if this is your first time. Welcome. We are going to add a ton of value to you guys tonight, and we are pumped for this. Uh, Zach and I actually did a uh, private coaching call for our coaching clients yesterday uh, and covered this exact topic. So it's fresh on our mind and we're going to bring you some, some awesome strategies that you can use right now uh, to start to, to really break through the barrier of mindset, man. You guys know mindset is king, um, but we're going to, we're actually going to uh, give you the ability to eliminate the need for motivation tonight. You might not believe that. However, uh, we will show you exactly what we exactly what we mean uh, by that. So, before we dive into the meat of the content tonight, uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, lots of lots of guys picking up. Caesar, Kevin, what's going on? Zane, uh, Jose, what's going on, my man? So, anyway, uh, if you are brand new to the discussions with Dad's Facebook group, uh, just so you know, uh, we do these every Wednesday at eight PM Eastern. Uh, and one thing that I will tell you is if you are not already following at least my profile, now you can go uh, tap on Zach's and Anthony's as well. If you're not at least following my profile, I would highly encourage you to do that. You will get the notifications that we're live or on any of our value posts that we put out every week um, and be able to keep up with what's going on inside of our community a little bit easier if you are at least following my profile. I will accept all friend requests until I max out. Uh, Zach, Anthony, same thing. I think Zach, uh, I think Anthony's pretty, pretty close to tapped out, but uh, follow us all. That way, when we post, you guys get those notifications and can stay engaged. Uh, you're obviously here for a reason and we want to help you become the healthiest version of yourself. So with that being said, so any of you guys who are new to the new to the group, just so you know, uh, we do have this free group. We do live streams in here every week. We also uh, provide as much value as we can at the free level over in this group. If you guys ever post any questions, if you post any challenges that you're having, you will see that you're going to get perspective from myself, Zach, Anthony, whoever sees the post, we're always going to comment and try to help you guys out in, in the best way possible. Uh, with that being said, we also have our paid program, okay, our paid programs. Uh, the, the reason that we uh, will sell at the end of this is because we believe so strongly in our programs. Um, we will always unapologetically sell at the end. And what I'm going to tell you is that we will give you a little bit of commercial break just to let you know, hey, we, you've stuck around this long. The value portion of this uh, content is done. Now we're going to move into uh, what it would look like to, uh, to work with us. And we'll, we'll go over the, the breakdown of the offer structure and all that at the end. So I will give you a notification if you don't want to stick around for that. If you don't, no big deal. We don't expect everybody in this group to work with us or even a, a large number of you guys. Um, we have our, our thriving private community and the results speak for themselves. And that's why we unapologetically sell at the end. So just want to give you guys a little heads up there. We won't go too deep into Zach and I's story tonight because uh, we want to get into the, the, the meat of this content so that you guys have some, some actionable steps to make 2021 your best year yet. Uh, those of you who might have made New Year resolutions will get into that. Uh, the bottom line is January's gone already, man, and we're, we're already in three days into February. And so it's time to, to take action now and build momentum for the rest of the year. Uh, with all of that, um, Zach and I have both battled our own weight issues. And we're both, you know, I've got some years on Zach. I'm 41 and I'm in the best shape of my life now. And Zach has also battled weight issues at different points in his life too. So we get it. We realize the struggle. There are pictures of us in this group, uh, both of us and Anthony, where, where we had the, the chubby chipmunk cheeks uh, and, and weren't in, in our best shape. And so I won't dive too deep into that. Uh, so here's, here's what I want you to do before we start getting into the, the meat of this content. All right. I want you to envision a world and a vision of life where you wake up every day soaring energy levels, 
You wake up every day with no aches and pains, no back pain. You are ready to dominate your day and you don't need to rely on motivation. There's never a time where you're going to talk yourself out of the gym. There's never a time where you're going to talk yourself out of uh, doing the things that you need to do on a weekly basis to be the, the healthiest and most elite version of yourself. I want you to have that vision because we're going to walk you through some strategies tonight to help you build that momentum. And the reality is mindset is king, just like I put in the post. And until you conquer this one aspect, we do not consider this one of our four core pillars because mindset plays such a role in all areas of life. But it is something that we hit on uh, very heavily in our private community as well. We have a, a, a individual class that's purely based on uh, mindset and motivation. It is called our mindset and motivation class. And so this is a, a, a very important topic for us. Um, and so with all that, without, uh, with, without all our shit, I can't even talk. After saying all that, let's dive in. Zach, my man, what's going on? How are you today? And I'm excited for this live stream, man. What's going on, man? What's going on, Jason? Everybody else, I see all you guys in the comments, man. Good to see you guys here. Uh, excited to talk about this, man, because I don't think a lot of people realize that anything in life, especially physical fitness, starts in the brain. You know what I mean? It starts It starts here. So this is actually, it's something that's not covered by many, uh, many health and fitness professionals, but it should be. Because if you don't get this right, nothing else gets right. You know, it's, it's crazy 100%. how it's, it's something that's never covered. 100%. And, you know, and, and that's why uh, we, we try to cover all bases here. The reality is this, is, is what we teach is lifestyle. Um, if you're here to learn keto or a fad diet or a temporary fix, uh, you're probably in the wrong group, man. Like there's some people in, there's some guys in here that I believe follow keto. Uh, if it's not sustainable, it's not for us. We don't coach, we don't teach anything that's not sustainable. Uh, sustainability is the key. Uh, and the reality is, is you, you must get to a place where you can embrace your health journey as a long-term journey. You got to embrace it as such because the reality is you are going to reach your weight loss goal, your fat loss goal, your muscle gain goal, whatever that looks like in your life. Uh, if there's a will, where there's a will, there's a way. And if you put your mind to it, you have the right structure, you commit the right amount of time to it, you will conquer that goal. But what's next, right? With keto, when you, when you get to your weight loss goal, what's next? You're going to go back to your old, your old ways and eat the same foods that you were eating before. And you may have lost 50 only to gain back 60. Uh, I've seen a lot of horror stories with that. And so we teach lifestyle, right? Our programs are all based around optimizing all areas of your health. Uh, mindset being one of those, but sleep, stress management, nutrition, fitness, those are our four pillars and when you optimize all four of those, life becomes much simpler for you to live. It is not a frustrating, it does not need to be an overwhelming process, um, but you got you to gotta get these things dialed in. And tonight, we're going to help you cut through uh, some of the nonsense when it comes to mindset, because there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they, they want to rely on these motivational memes and these motivational videos. And, and the, the bottom line is, Motivation's not going to show up on your doorstep in an Amazon Prime box. And I know that's my, my little coin term, but the, the bottom line is you've got to be able to create your own motivation. And in order to do that, we're going to go through some things uh, that, are, that are going to help you tonight. Um, so let's, uh, let's kind of start this off, man. I know there's a lot of ways that we can go, um, but I, I love that. Uh, I love that one of our, one of our private clients, uh, I don't know if Larry's on here tonight, but Larry, uh, Larry brought up a great question during our coaching call yesterday. So I wanted to revisit that, man. And let's, let's kind of give these guys uh, a, a real world example of, of how we're able to, to stay so consistent. So I'll let you kick things off, Zach. Larry's question was, to how do you guys, or please walk us through a scenario where you just don't have it that day. I saw a guy in this, in, in this group, I forget his name. Uh, posted about this earlier. And he's like, man, I just don't have it right now. I can't get it together. You know, I, I, I don't know where to start. And I just can't seem to, to build the momentum that I need to. And so when Larry asked that question, uh, we both thought it was gold because those real life, those real world, uh, real world situations and scenarios are what is going to give you the most relatable, um, you know, the, the most relatable way of, of seeing from our, you know, from, from guys who seemingly have the health thing figured out. I'm not going to say that I have life figured out, but what we do with health works. And so Zach, uh, we'll kind of let you kick things off, man. Like 
So I'll, I'll be Larry and, and just ask you, man, like when you, you know, obviously you're in the best shape of your life, but when you are struggling, when you've got one of those days where you just don't have it, um, kind of like the guy's post, like what are some things, take us through a, a day in the life of Zach and, and how you're able to turn things around because this is, these are the things that we're teaching right inside of our community. So let's bring the, the heavy hit, heavy hitter stuff here tonight as well. Yeah, man, for sure, dude. And, and you said it more than enough times. You said it plenty of times that you, me, Anthony, we're not always motivated to do the things that we know need to be done to get where we want to be. But that's the key word, right? Need, need, not want, right? And when I'm talking about need, like when I know, I know who I want to be and where I want to go. And just like most people here, you know what you need to do to get where you want to go to, but you have that, that limiting belief, right? You feel like, oh, I can't do this because of that. I can't do this because of that. I'll never be that way. I'll never be this person. I can never do that. Dude, what did I tell you about this? If the brain isn't strong, psh- shit else ain't going to be strong. Let's just, let's just face it. Right. So when I don't want to do a damn thing, and it's funny that our mindset and motivation, uh, you know, coaching sessions Tuesday, because that's typically my leg day. And that's the day I hate the most in the gym. (laughs) So it works out. But I realized that if I ever want any chance of becoming who I know I can ultimately be, because we only have one shot at this life, right? I want to make sure that where I am now and where I end up on my deathbed is my max potential. I love it. Max potential. Okay. So what you, what we've talked about before is it's, it's, it's fun to talk about, you know, raising the ceiling, raising the ceiling, raising your expectations, but we need to raise the floor. 100%. Okay. Because the floor is going to be our, just a bare minimum that we're willing to accept. And some of what I expect my floor to be, if I want to be, if I want to be the greatest version of myself, then I expect my floor to be raised higher than some of your ceilings. I will be completely straight up with you right now. I want my floor to be higher than your ceiling. And that's just the way that I get myself to like, just to work hard towards that. Like the person I know I can be, it's not always about motivation. And it's kind of funny there's this new app called Clubhouse, right? Jason, we talked about this. You need to get your ass on there, right? <laughs> and Elon Musk asked, actually went on this, like, was it two or three days ago? He broke the damn, the damn app, right? Everyone tried to get on. One person asked the question and said, hey, can, do you have any, you know, something that could be motivating for me as a new entrepreneur? Elon Musk said, dude, if you're looking for mo- motivation, you're not an entrepreneur. And it's kind of the same thing with fitness and everything else in life. If you're looking always for that next little hint or that next little burst of motivation, guess what? You're never going to get where you want to go. That's just the fact of the matter, man. I'm going to keep it real with you guys, man. It takes a lot of reps and a lot of time, a lot of sacrifice and a lot of hard damn work. But what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to do to be the best version of yourself? I love it. No, I, it, you nailed it, man. And, and my, uh, you know, the, the process that I take myself through is very much similar to that. And we've talked about this before, but every single one of us is a professional excuse maker. Mm-hmm. Every single one of us is a professional negotiator. The reality is, is you are going to negotiate with yourself when you don't want to do something. You're going to make up an excuse when you don't want to do something. And we're all full of bullshit excuses. If you want to know the truth, like, I, if, if I don't want to do something, I guarantee you that I can find a good enough excuse to convince my mind that I'm not going to do it. Um, but you have to get past that and establishing this long-term bl- discipline. And we can talk about the why all day and we'll, we'll touch on that too, right? Like when you're why, when you have a big enough why, you'll figure out the how. Uh, there are, you know, there are ways to cut down the, the time that it takes to get there. Um, one of those things, one of the things that I'm biggest on is like in business, Hiring mentors uh, has gotten me to where I am today with, with and, and being able to cut some of that time off. And so, you know, that that's one of the one of the things that I've leveraged most in my life. But the reality is, is you got to you got to develop the discipline to where, you know, that, you know, Zach, you mentioned raising your floor. OK, you know, we, we talk about these minimum standards and we did a whole podcast episode on it. But you guys, you, any of you guys that are new or if you guys are not tuned into our podcast, um, it would be a great thing for if you're a podcast guy. Uh, we we got a ton of great content on there. Uh, you're, if you want some weekly health inspiration, motivation, more of this content, 
uh, get plugged into our podcast. If you want the, if you want a link to that, just, just uh, type the word podcast in the comments below. I'll shoot that over to you. So you have that. But uh, we talked about this on the podcast not long ago. It's like having these minimum standards, right? When you have minimum standards and you raise your damn floor, you're not talking about the goal. Those of you guys out there right now that have a 20, 30, 50, 80, hundred pound weight loss goal, that's the ceiling. You're, you're raising your ceiling because you want to accomplish that goal. But Zach says, raise your floor. Uh, for me in my life, it's creating these minimum standards. So I'm going to use a story from this week so you guys all can, can, can get a little glimpse into what's going on in my life this week. All right. This will give you an example of that minimum standard. Okay. So my wife's car broke down this week. Uh, my wife had to take my truck to work. She has about a 40 minute commute. She drives, uh, she, she drives to Arlington. We live in, in uh, near Dallas. It's like, you guys are in Texas. It's like a 40 minute drive. Okay. So she had to take my truck and I'm a gym guy. I'm not a home workout guy. I have zero motivation when it's time to do a home workout. I really struggled during, uh, during lockdown when the, when the pandemic first hit. My, my gym was closed for like th two and a half months or something. And I was going crazy, man. Like I was having to do everything in my mind to try to get past this lack of motivation. I don't want to work out in my home, in my house. Some, some people thrive in that environment, but not me. This is, this is me, right? I don't care what the next guy does. I'm worried about how I'm going to make progress or how I'm going to be my healthiest version of myself while the gym is closed. Okay. So I, I have a, a pull-up bar in my doorway that jacks my doorway all up. I've got a, a couple of sets of dumbbells that just aren't for me, man. Like I'm not that guy. So this week I got this bomb dropped on me. Like, okay, your car's broken down. This is on Monday. So we leave it there. She takes my truck today or yeah, she took my, or uh, took my truck yet or today, yesterday, we, I had to cancel everything, block my whole calendar off so we could go look at cars um, and didn't get to the gym. So I got my workout in on Monday. It's Tuesday, no workout. Wednesday rolls around today. I don't have a car to get to the, to get to the gym. And my minimum standard every single week in my life is three workouts. Like I'm a four workout a week guy. But if I let myself fall below three, like I'll go nuts. It, it is not something that I'm okay with because I've raised my floor to that three a week standard. I can't let myself go below it because it will weigh heavily on my conscience. So today rolls around and I'm on a call with a prospect. We're wrapping up some stuff before lunch. I work out between 12 and one and, and 12 o'clock hits. And I'm looking at the clock like, shit, man, like, should I just skip today? Like I'm at home. I'm in a, I'm in a rhythm. I could probably crank out quite a bit more work over the next hour, or I could go do some miserable jump squats and some lunges and some shit upstairs. What am I going to do? Um, and I, I leverage what I call the five second rule immediately started negotiating with myself, trying to make up excuses. I counted down from five, got the hell up, went upstairs, got my stuff going and got my workout in. It wasn't the best workout. It definitely wasn't the worst workout, but the reality is it still happened. And so you've got to get your, yourself to a place. And for me, I think back to those minimum standards. Why did I create those minimum standards? It's exactly what Zach talked about of being that most elite version of yourself. You know you can do better and you're always looking to grow. And when you have that mentality, it's a killer instinct, right? You've got to be able to, you've got to be ready and willing to go to war with your mind. You are going to battle yourself and you're going to constantly try to negotiate. But the further that you, the, the, the longer that you do that, the longer that you talk yourself out of that workout, you talk yourself out of drinking the water that you need to be doing on a daily basis. You talk yourself out of the nutrition plan that you should be following, that you can fuel your body properly and become a high performer. The, the more that you talk yourself out of it, not only are you getting further and further away from your goal, but you're breaking these micro commitments. You're breaking these promises that you made to yourself. And so not only are you getting further and further from your goal, because now you're you're, you're in a backpedal, you might be gaining weight or you're not, you're at least not gaining any ground, but you're also losing trust with yourself because your, your subconscious mind starts to pick up on that. You're like, okay, well, you lied to me yesterday. You said you were going to work out and then you talked yourself out of the workout. So what's going to happen today? You skip one day, two days, three days. Now it becomes three months. And the next thing you know, you've gained 40 pounds and you've been out of the gym three years because you, you started lying to yourself. You started breaking those micro commitments and that is, that is a recipe for disaster. So that is my take. That's how I get myself out of it. Uh, Zach, my man, what is your, uh, what is your take on that? And, and how do you carve out, uh, or, or what is your strategy when, when motivation is lacking? And you're like, dude, like, cause I use the five second rule. I think it's basic, 
but like, what are some things, some, some potential strategies that these guys can use to, to really, maybe it's not the, the long-term lifestyle, right? Like that, that takes time. That's a, those are micro disciplines, but let's say it's a workout or say it's something you don't want to eat that next healthy meal. You'd rather have a burger. Like, what does that look like for you? Man, there's, there's so many ways to go about this, but sure. I, I just want to talk about what, what you said with go for it. keeping, Expand keeping, on my stuff too, keeping man. promises to yourself, man. I, I, what a lot of people don't realize is if somebody lies to you all the time, are you going to believe them? It, they, but what people don't realize is the same damn concept applies to ourself. Like you're going to eventually get to the point where you don't even believe your own damn self. And next thing you know, that's the reason why going back to what I was saying earlier. Now, all of a sudden you're talking about, oh, I can never be that guy. I can never do this. I don't know how they do that. You know why? Because you're a damn liar. You mm -hmm. don't have to lie to other people to be a liar. No, you can lie so, to yourself. So, look, so seriously, take a good look in yourself at yourself and look within and be completely honest with yourself. Are you a liar? Right. Yes or no. That's. What I want to know, and I go and, and something that I said last, uh, well, yesterday afternoon in our coaching call, I'm gonna give you two seconds to get away from the kid, but <laughs> any kids that are around you, but I talked to the guys and I said, we need to be taking action to ultimately the, be the best version of ourselves. Because when we were born, there was no child born on earth where the parent just looked at him in the eye and just said, this is one average motherfucker. <laughs> Nobody. Hello. Nobody nope. go ask your mom and dad right now. Did they ever say that about you? Hell, Hell no. no. Hell, Hell no. no. You guys have so much damn potential. Everybody has the same damn potential. Trust me. I don't give a damn how old you are. I don't care about your damn body type. I don't care about your damn gender, your sexual orientation. I don't give a shit. Any one of you can look like me, Jason, Anthony, anybody else you look up to. But guess what? You can also look like somebody you don't want to be too, if you're not honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. So just like it, it's, it's, and this is the hard part. Okay. This is the hard part. Building great momentum is hard. It but is building shitty momentum is easy. Mm -hmm. And that's why they say, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Right. No, a hundred percent. You understand. Just look, have to and you know, I just want to add to your point on the easy thing. Like, Nothing in life worth doing is easy. Right. There are simple ways to go about it. And like what we teach is a very simplistic process, right? The, the bottom line is we keep things as simple as possible. We're not going to overload you with a bunch of meal plans and a bunch of crazy, like hectic workouts. It's a simple, basic structure. And you can do the same in your life. Focus on those four pillars, dial in your sleep, dial in your stress management and make those high priorities. Those things need to be just as high of a priority as nutrition and fitness. If you undermine those, those two things, sleep and stress, I don't care how hard you work in the gym and how, how much you eat like a rabbit with a little bit of protein thrown in there. If you're a, if you got a high stress job, a high stress life, and you're sleeping like shit all the time, what you're doing with diet and exercise isn't going to work. I'm just going to tell you that I, I've got enough experience to see case after case after case where that exact scenario held true. And dude could not get any results until sleep and stress management became a higher priority. So when you're thinking mindset, think of, you know, we, we talk about raising the floor. We talk about these minimum standards. Think about where your priorities need to be. And also think about what you're willing to sacrifice to get there, right? Some of you guys aren't ready to make changes and that's okay, right? Some of you guys are desperate for change and you don't know where to start and that's okay. The bottom line is the imperfect plan followed consistently will absolutely destroy the perfect plan followed inconsistently every single time. And in the mm -hmm. beginning, just like with Zach, Anthony, myself, all of our journeys started out extremely hard. You know why? Because the first step, the hardest part is getting started. But the bottom line is this, is like the, the, the fat, living the overweight fat life, which I've been there and done that with the low energy, the low libido, uh, low confidence, feeling like shit, man boobs and beer gut, and my wife not being attracted to me, going out in public and wearing a shirt at the beach or the pool. Like that is not a life for me. And that was a very hard life to live. But the reality is, is that the life that I live now is also a hard life to live. You got to choose your hard wisely. Okay. Choose your struggle. They're, they're, yeah. They're, they're mm -hmm. both, there is no easy life. All right. If you want to live the easy life, you're going to gain weight. You're going to sit on the, on the couch, watch Netflix, eat chips, and ended up 40, 50, 60, it's, 80 pounds. It's easy overweight. until it's not Act easy, easy until it's not, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you got to choose your heart wisely. 
And so many times we want the easy way out. We want to, we want these shortcuts. And that's how these fad diets come into play, right? Keto, it's a shortcut diet. Let me go drop 50 pounds to gain 60 because it's not sustainable. It's a shortcut. We live in an immediate gratification world. You guys all have a thousand dollar computer in your hand that you can look up anything. You can ask Siri, you can ask Alexa, you can go to Google, you can go to the corner and get fast food. Minutes, minutes, minutes. And we want the same thing with our health. But the bottom line is if you want to lose 30 or 40 pounds, you know, by next week, there's one way to do that. And you can cut off a leg, but I don't, I don't <laughs> recommend going down that road. All right. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, man, but like I saw an opportunity that I didn't want to nah, lose. For that sure, man. For sure. That's the, I don't even know where my train of thought was. I was just listening to your stuff. I'm like, yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, dude, mindset is everything though. <laughs> mindset no, is, no doubt. is, is, is everything, dude. I, if you guys have questions, can we, yeah, I can't even emphasize questions on mindset or motivation or anything like that. Type them in the comments below and we will we will answer them. If we don't get to it tonight, we're going to go back and answer any questions. We'll hit them on the live stream or I'll hit them on the live stream tomorrow so you guys can get those answers. Um, we want you to know, Zach, myself, Anthony, none of us are motivated all the time. That's the bottom line. And you got to realize that if, if you guys want to win big when it comes to health, you know, like whether you work with us, whether you figure it out on your own or you go somewhere else, like we want the best for everybody in this community. That's why we show up every week. That's why we're adding the value that we can uh, with the time allotted on a, on a daily basis. Uh, but the reality is, is, is this has to be right first. And we want you to know that motivation, it's just not something you can rely on. I'll tell you, uh, one of the strategies that we leverage big time in our private community is Monday momentum, okay? I'm a, I'm a four day a week workout guy. And that's usually Monday through Thursday. My family does some active things on the weekends at times, depending on the weather I'm in Texas. So most of the time that, that allows, um, I don't work out on Fridays. Um, and Monday through Thursday are my, are my workout days. Okay. I do not ever skip a Monday workout. I do not ever go to bed too late on Sunday night. I do not ever skip healthy eating on Monday. I leverage the hell out of, mom, of, out of Monday momentum because when you create your own momentum on a Monday, you eliminate the built-in excuse on Tuesday. You've eliminated the built-in excuse on Wednesday because you started the week off with a bang. As soon as you skip that Monday though, now Tuesday rolls around and it's like, well, I'd like to go to the gym, but I skipped yesterday. Now I have a built-in excuse. I'll just wait till next Monday. It's this same new year resolution mentality where guys will wait till the calendar flips to a new year. They, they crush it for a couple of weeks. They fall off. And by February 1st, they're like, you know what? I'll put it off till next January again. You can kick the can down the road as long as you want, but it's going to come back and bite you in the ass at some point. And the post that I did not long ago, for some of you guys who saw that, I asked a question. It was a, it was a mindset question. But the reality is, is you got to invest in your health right now, whether that's better nutrition, that's committing to time to actually go into the gym or carving out time to work out. I hear so many people say, I don't have time to work out or I can't find time to work out. It's bullshit. It's an absolute excuse because my little leg workout today with the walk that I stacked onto it got done in 20 minutes. Do not tell me that you can't create 20 minutes in your life somewhere to become a better version of yourself. That is the biggest lie that you could tell yourself is, I just can't find the time. Successful people, no matter what area of life they're in, business, relationships, health, doesn't matter. Successful people make the time because if it's a big enough priority, they're gonna get it done. That's the reality. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. And it's it sounds like a tough love statement, but you know, you know, you listening right now, if you haven't worked out in two months, two years, 10 years, and you've been telling yourself, I just don't have time. I just can't find the time. No, the, the bottom line is it's not a big enough priority for you. Yeah, and that's you the reality. You don't want to find the time is what it is. Yep. I mean, you already know you, you either have results or excuses, but you can't have both. You know, nope, again, 100%. that's another, it's another self-limiting belief. It's what you choose to believe versus what you know to be true. Uh, but again, that goes back with what I was saying is like, are you really being honest with yourself? It's funny, everything, this, everything in this conversation is just tying back into itself, into itself, into itself over and over and over again. And I can't emphasize enough how much people need to realize their real potential, man. And this is not no fluffy, um, 
hey, you can do anything you want and you're the greatest. Yay, yay, no, yay. It's not this a rah-rah rah one of those stage, conversations. Man. I'm telling you straight up, you are <laughs> You have so much potential, and I'm not being all fluffy about it. I'm talking like for real. You the majority do. of guys but, out there are capable of a heck of a lot yes, more than they actually yeah, believe. Yeah, absolutely, man. But so your many, action, and, and, dude. And, yeah, and so many of, of our clients when we come on board, like the the, the initial uh, mindset is is I just don't believe in myself, right? Like I'm gonna take this leap, but like I haven't believed in myself long enough to to be able to really know that that I can do this. And you've got to know that, like, you've got to tell yourself when you wake up every single day, I could do this and I will do this. There's no wavering. It's not a choice. It, it, it's you making a commitment to the one body that you have. That's it. And so when we start talking about why, you know, how big is your why? Why do you even want to be in this group? Why do you want to be exposed to health focused men? Why do you even want to get healthier? Like, think about that. What's the true driving motivator inside you right now? Do you want to be around long term to watch your children grow up to pursue greatness? Do you want to be around long enough to walk your daughter down the aisle or see your son graduate college or go on to start his own business? Do you want to be around to play with your grandkids? I know that Anthony has a goal of being a, a active grandpa and taking his grandkids to the trampoline park, but not just taking them, actually jumping on the trampolines at 70 years old. Like those kind of goals aren't going to be met unless you start taking action right now. Like the reality is we got one life to live and you guys know that, but I also want to tell you this, dude, I also add this too. Okay. This is such a big factor. And uh, somebody posted in here, I think today or yesterday. Um, and, and they started off with like, I'm not sure if this is the right place uh, to post this. If it's not just to, to please delete it. Uh, and then they went deep, right. Open it up about some deep issues. Here's the, th here's the thing, guys, and, and you guys all, every one of you listening right now has been through some really deep and dark times in your life. Nobody in this group has made it this far in life without some really, really challenging stuff that's taken place in your life. You might have some demons that you've been holding inside for a really, really long time. And as men, we're told from an early age, you fall, you get a scrape on your knee, oh, just wipe some dirt on it, rub some dirt on it, it'll be okay. We're taught from a young age, big boys don't cry. You can't, you know, the crying is for girls. We're taught from a very, very young age that we're not supposed to show emotion. We're supposed to be big, tough guys. I consider myself a fairly thick skinned, tough individual, but I'm emotional as hell because I know I need to get that stuff out sometimes. And so what I want you guys to know is that it's okay to ask for help. You're a human being. You're not a robot. You're not meant to carry this kind of load on your shoulders your entire life without being able to vent, without being able to express yourself. You have emotions just like every other person out there. So don't tell yourself, don't convince yourself that, well, I, I don't want to ask for help or I don't want to post this because, you know, these, this is, I, I'm not supposed to show this side of me, man. Like this is a men's group. You got some stuff on your, uh, deep down inside that you want to get off your chest, throw it out there. If it's inappropriate, I'll reach out and say, hey, man, probably save that for another time. But like the reality is, is you guys got to know that it's OK to ask for help. Whatever area you're struggling with, man, like speak up. If we if, if this group doesn't know about it, we can't help you. But the reality is, is most guys try to keep all these emotions locked inside and they don't believe in themselves. They, they're they're very they're lacking confidence because they've got all these things pent up inside that they've never been able to talk about before. And until you start expressing those things and getting them off your chest, communicating with other people who might actually care about you and not just keeping these things locked inside, you're going to suffer and you're choosing to go that route because you know there's a better way. You know you can talk about it. I'm giving you permission to ask for help if you need help. That's it. And so hopefully you guys resonate with that. Um, Zach, you got anything else to add before we uh, shift gears? Nah, man, you, you pretty much hit it, <laughs> hit, hit the nail on the head right there, dude. I got a, I got, I see, I see uh Christopher in here says, you know, one slip and I struggle, man. Uh, that goes back to what I was talking about, man, where, where do you really believe that you are capable of being the best version of yourself? So if it, it feels to me like, you know what you're capable of, but you're having an issue with your identity. Um, you're not taking on so so this is this is kind of how it works 
everybody and this is why this is it's kind of weird man i could get we could get into a whole nother long conversation but we'll I do more of there. these these yeah, this is one such of these, an important we, live stream we will man, man. Like, we will. you guys that are getting value if you've gotten value this uh, so far type the word value in the comments below so anybody coming on will see that in the time stamp and know to stick around yeah yeah so so you just have to really believe in your in your potential and make sure that your actions reflect the person who you want to be there's something called a um uh what the hell why am i blanking out you know uh when they you know when they like uh damn what the hell why am i blanking out all of a sudden anyway here, while man. you think about I, i'm gonna i'm gonna interject here because what i want what i want christopher to know is this man like what we do and and why we have a six-month program is exactly what you just said life is going to happen man like you got to realize that it's progress over perfection you will never be perfect right i love to talk about in accepting your imperfections while striving for perfection okay you want to keep your eye on the prize you don't want to let your guard down but the bottom line is it's progress over perfection man if you start your day off shitty that doesn't mean you can't flip the script on that day and still dominate that day and take home some wins to end the day you start your day off with donuts and a coke and you realize wow i really messed up how can i get this day on track and still win the day one slip up is not going to do anything to all the progress and all the momentum that you've already been building. Whether you're one week in, one month in, or one year in, you have a slip up. You deserve that, man. Like the bottom line is if you're being that strict on yourself, then let your guard down a little bit and realize that it's a journey. You've got to embrace it as such. We talk about burgers and beer, you know, like these are normal parts of my life. I don't consider that a slip up. It's planned. It's what I want to do. Uh, not And I'm not advocating for everybody to drink beer, but that's a part of my life that I'm not willing to give up. And so, uh, and so I plan that out. Would I consider that a slip up and beat myself up over it? Absolutely not, man. And so if you've got a day where you, you know, you feel like you've made a couple of bad choices, don't think that that day is just a, just a complete wash and you got to start over tomorrow. Start the instant that you realize that, man, like situational awareness like that is such a powerful tool that can be used for you or it can be used against you. If you don't have situational awareness, it's going to be very hard for you to flip the script on that day, man. But you got to make that day a win so that you go to bed at the end of the day saying, you know what? This day didn't start as I planned, but I still crushed it. I still got my workout in. I still did some healthy things to end the day. And now I've got momentum going into the next day. Hopefully you resonate with that, man. And that makes sense because you cannot beat yourself up over the small stuff. Life is going to kick you in the balls sometimes. And you got to be up. You got to be ready to get up and move forward so that you can continue to build the momentum that you deserve to be building for the hard work that it sounds like you're putting in. So, yeah, man, <laughs> that you right. covered. I don't even need to say what I need to say. I, <laughs> okay. I lost my so, train of thought because I'm keeping up with the Facebook messages and I got a nah, you're good. notification you're good. that threw me off. <laughs> it's all good. So with that being said, um, that is our content for the night. We are going to, uh, this is your commercial break. If you want to stick around, find out a little bit more about what it would look like to work with us, um, by all means, stick around. Uh, for those of you guys who are going to check out now, uh, thanks for coming. Hopefully you got value out of tonight. If you are going to leave and you uh, and you don't want to stick around, uh, drop that word value one more time in the comments so so those guys coming in tomorrow will, will know that they need to stick around. Um, with all that being said, we'll be back here next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, same, same time, same place. Uh, so see you next week if you're not going to stick around. Uh, for those of you guys who are going to stick around, um, here's what we will do. So obviously some of you guys have been through this drill before. You might still be on the fence about working with us and that's okay, right? If you're on the fence and you're still sticking around and you're still trying to get a little bit more that we're going to be your guys, uh, totally cool. Um, but here's what I want you to do. If you are interested in working with us, um, I'm going to give you a, a, some words to drop in the comments, and then I want to let you know what to expect next, okay? If you type the call to action words that I'm about to tell you, um, you know, what we're going to do is, is myself or Zach will be reaching out to you. Uh, if we've already spoken and you're, you're already ready and we've already had conversation, the next step is literally just going to be to get on the phone, see if what we have is a good match, dig a little bit deeper with, with your challenges, the struggles you might be going through, and just to see if what we do is even a good match for you, okay? But we also want you to know this, man. Like, if you raise your hand tonight and you book a call with us, like, 
don't don't raise your hand unless you're truly ready. Okay, don't don't book a call and then not show up. Please respect mm-hmm. our time. Uh, we, we are very busy dudes, as you can well imagine, trying to change as many men's lives as we can. And if if you raise your hand, we are going to reach out to you. And so, and it's not, it will not be an uncomfortable conversation. We're literally going to try to provide you as much guidance during the call we, as we can. Uh, anybody that's had a call with us before knows that we are not going to try to strong arm you into something that you don't want to do. It's either a match or if it's not. And if you love what you hear and we're your guys, it's worth your time figuring that out because we might have a permanent solution for you for long-term sustainable success when it comes to health, achieving optimal health and fat loss. All right. So with all that being said, I also want you to know this. This is not a cheap cookie cutter, one size fits all approach program. If you're looking for that, a program in a box, we are not your guys. This is a high level results driven experience where you're going to be working with three professionals for an entire six months where we're essentially, and I don't want to like use this term loosely, but when I say we're at your beck and call, dude, our availability to you is extremely high. We want you to win. We want you to be confident. We want you to have clarity on everything that you need to do so that you can put this thing on autopilot, dial it in, and just crank results with us. That's the goal, okay? We don't have a guy in our program right now who's not getting stronger, who's not losing body fat, who doesn't report back with soaring energy levels. Got multiple guys who have contacted me this week saying that they're about to get off medications or they've already gotten off a couple medications because of the results they're getting. What we do works, and we believe strongly in it. So- With that being said, if you know that you want to talk to us more and you know that we are your guys, type the words I'm next in the comments below and I'll break down a little bit of the components of the program right now just so you have clarity on how everything will work, okay? Once we reach out, establish that that we do want to chat some more, uh, we'll have a call. And if you decide to come on board, man, here's what it's going to look like, okay? We've got a core curriculum, a very robust core curriculum very comprehensive, that it's literally going to help you dial in all the four pillars, help you shift your mindset during the time together. That is yours to keep for life. Anytime we make changes, updates, additions to it, you will always get those updates. Okay. That's the first component. Our second component is our private clients only Facebook group. All right. You guys are in the free group now. Uh, There's almost 3000 guys in here now. Okay. Our private clients only Facebook group, very, very small very close knit. And when I say brotherhood, it's literally that anytime I well, we welcomed a new guy from this group over to the private group today. Um, and I think within the first hour, uh, there were already 15 or 16 guys coming in, giving them a warm welcome. And then not just some generic stuff, like welcome to the brotherhood. You made an amazing decision. These guys are going to change your life. Like those kind of comments. All right. I don't want to pat my back. I'm a, I'm a pretty humble guy. But like when you get that kind of a welcome welcome into a new community, uh, it kind of feels good, right? Third component is our fitness app. We're literally going to map out your entire fitness uh, blueprint and help elevate you through the program. We're going to meet you where you're at, wherever you're at. If you haven't worked out in 10 years, we're going to start you slow. We're going to build a foundation and then elevate you to where you're headed because that's the reality. You will crank results with us. And then the fourth component is our coaching calls, all right? coaching calls. We do two group calls every single week. We also do some one-on-one calls to make sure that we're hitting all angles uh, to make sure that you're moving forward and making the progress that you deserve uh, if you're going to choose to invest with us in your health. All right. So again, if that sounds like you and you loved everything that you heard tonight, you've already been here a while, or maybe you're brand new and you're like, dude, those are my guys. I've been looking for something like this. Again, type the words I'm next in the comments below. Uh, If you have any further questions that you didn't drop tonight and you think about those later, uh, you can always come back to this live stream. It will stay pinned at the top of the group uh, for the next few days. So if you have a question, go drop it in the live stream tomorrow and I'll still answer you, man. I'll still get back, Zach, myself, Anthony. We're all trying to watch out for any engagement in this group so that we can help you guys move forward as much as we can at the free level as well. So that is the closure of our topic tonight. Hopefully you guys got value tonight, man. We wanted to really, uh, you know, give a little bit of tough love and and really bring some heavy hitting stuff when it comes to mindset. Because reality is, uh, if you're if you haven't taken action yet, you're still on the fence, whether working with us or taking action in your own life. Like sometimes it's gut check time, man. Sometimes you need to be you need to hear 
um, the, the truth. And the reality is if, if you're breaking the promises you make to yourself, if you're not getting where you want to be with your health and wellness, and you know that you could be putting in more effort, you know that there's a better way for you, man. Like it's time to figure it out. Nobody's promised tomorrow, but I can tell you this, you start taking action today and you might have a heck of a lot better future than you would now if you didn't start taking action. So that's all we've got. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the, in the comments and uh, we'll see you next time, man. We'll see you next week, 8 p.m. Eastern time.